you've ever been prescribed a drug or seen an ad for one, you've probably noticed the list of potential side effects ranging from dizziness to death. The problem is, a drug might cure one person and poison another. Drugs may also not work, and doctors have no way to tell how their patients will respond. Why do people respond differently to the same drug? Do genetic mutations affect a person's response? If so, can a computer algorithm locate these mutations? Prescription drugs are the fourth leading cause of death, and 120,000 people are hospitalized per year for side effects. I researched whether mutations could affect a person's response. However, knowing the mutation only solves half the problem. Doctors need to know if their patients have particular mutations. They need to find one mutation in a genome of billions of bases. String searching algorithms are programs that find a string of characters in a text. The genome is the text, and the mutation is the string. I tested three algorithms for speed. It is important for the algorithm to produce a result quickly so that patients in emergency situations can receive the correct drug. I compared the efficiencies of the algorithms. Efficiencies are determined by the number of alignments and comparisons performed. The fewer alignments and comparisons, the faster an algorithm runs. Since Boyer-Moore skips certain alignments, it is faster than naive exact matching. Apostolico Giancarlo is the fastest because it stores characters differently. I innovated a parallel Apostolico Giancarlo algorithm by coding it to run on multiple processors. A parallel program divides the task of searching a genome. Parallel computing uses multiple processors by making them work together on a problem, reducing the runtime. Apostolico Giancarlo was the most efficient algorithm with the fewest alignments. Parallelizing it accelerated the algorithm by 400%. My innovation of a parallel apostolico Giancarlo algorithm could improve health by leading to safer prescriptions. My results suggest that this type of research will save lives by allowing doctors to make the pill fit the ill.